Okay, slight problem. Looks like the blast doors got frozen over solid. You'll need to manually force open the hydraulic door pistons with your claw arm. The pistons are on either side of the wall there. Great, now the other one. It's on the opposite wall. You got pretty lucky. Landed on a solid outcropping. Seems stable enough. Anybody hurt? Our life support's offline, and uh, we could really use some air. Can you take a look at the um, the exhaust on the TCS exchanger? I, I, it must have gotten crushed in the fall. Yeah, I see it. Purge tubes are all tangled up. Give me a sec. I'll see what I can do. Yeah! Yeah! I can hear the life support kicking in now! Thanks, Jim! You're a lifesaver! Alright, you fellas sit tight. The rescue teams will be down here in a jiff. Thanks, new guy! I already like you better than LaRoche! <laughs> Your most important duty. 
Keeping the base supplied with T energy. Uploading the coordinates to you now. Hiya, Gracie. Got your message loud and clear. And the tunes. Great thought. Thanks. I'm here in one piece. Might be overstating it, but we made it. I'm safe. Just getting oriented. And yeah, there's nothing awkward about this at all. <laughs> Guess we're gonna have to get used to it. Keep sending, okay? Remind me why I'm out here doing this. I miss you.
good. It's your job to keep Coronas fueled by finding these thermal pockets on your own, planting T-posts, and maintaining them when they're full. Harvest them regularly, and you'll be raking in the credits in no time. Got it, boss. I think this work is just my speed. And so it went for weeks and months until the extraordinary became commonplace. Dealing with the cold in my life became the new routine. Intense is real, but routine. I kept my sanity and wits by not thinking too deeply about what I was seeing and doing. He got lonesome sometimes, out in the Badlands. But Music and weekly messages from the missus kept me company. I was making great dough, getting choice contracts. That was the point after all. I made friends with the crew. They were a right good sort, those guys. Even LaRoche, for all his bluster, had his moments. For better or worse, I became Braddock's go-to guy. It had its benefits. But sometimes being the one to get the call meant you ended up in some Damn strange situations. <coughs> What's wrong? Plenty. <coughs> Harmonizers aren't a set of juice. The one time I want an acre to attack. <coughs> what was I? Something about getting the call. Yeah, right. Well, now you know how hard it is to communicate off-world. Those days, Nivek had to work around. An antenna relay on the highest right. peak in the area, so we can call home to Mama with minimal storm interference. It's our lifeline. Two hours ago, we went offline, and we don't know why. We're effectively cut off from sending and receiving any off-world communications. Uh, some acrid probably got his claws into it. So once again, you expect me to march out there and fight a horde of monsters in a rig without weapons, huh? Do you know how much of my income I waste on repairs? I want guns on my rig, a simple chain gun. My hands are tied. Nevik regulations. Yes, yes, don't weaponize the construction vehicles, but I mean in this but case... nothing. I'm not gonna jeopardize my operation because of your nerve deficit. It's called hazard pay for a reason. Oh, please. Hey, boss. Just knows ComSat's offline. Yeah. Mind if I hustle down the relay station? Give her a gander? I was just talking to Mr. LaRoche about that very thing. Apparently he's got some concerns about making nice with the wildlife. Well, no, I don't want to just snake a man's contract. No, no, no. Take it. Get yourself killed. Not for at least double, I mean. Done. What? Be back by supper time. <laughs> Loud and clear, Doc. Kinda told you, you can call me Jim. As you like, Mr. Jim. I was hoping you could pay me a visit in my lab, as your circumstances and logistics allow. Oh, and I believe I'm to mention that remuneration is involved. So, you have a job for me? I believe I made that abundantly clear. Oh, abundantly. I'll drop by soon, Doc. You looking for something specific? Thanks, Jim. You keep fighting a good fight. Wait a minute, this is my... Hunting rifle. It's been in my family for generations. I thought I'd lost in the supply crash on my first day. What? No, Jim. This was sold to me recently by LaRoche. Said it was in his family for generations. Sorry, but if you're, if you're wanting your money back... No worries, Bertie. I'm just glad to have her back. <laughs> 